Well, many folks across the region experienced a beautiful weather event last night known as the Aurora Borealis or otherwise the Northern Lights. News Channel 11's Brooke Kendall spoke with weather experts today about the event and how people here in the Tri-Cities were able to see those beautiful colors in the sky. I'm here at the planetarium on ETSU's campus where I spoke with an astronomer to find out what the northern lights have in store for us and where the lights will be lighting up the skies in northeast Tennessee this winter. Many across the country spotted the vibrant colors of northern lights across skies of the United States last night. Last night that maximum reached 8.7 whereas the maximum on that scale is 10. Dr. Gary Henson, an astronomer at East Tennessee State University, says it is because the sun is in a rare active stage right now. Well, the sun goes through various stages of activity that are tied to an 11-year cycle of sunspots. Uh, and we're right now very near the maximum of a sunspot cycle. And the amplitude of these maximums, meaning how intense the storms can be, varies from cycle to cycle. This particular cycle has had amazingly intense storms. So the sun has been sending out massive energetic particles uh, in all directions through solar flares. And we've just seen many more of these uh, maximum flares that are called X-class flares erupting. Henson says the intense lights in our region can be attributed to a shift in the Earth's magnetic pole. The North Magnetic Pole is currently below the geographic pole in northern Canada. So it actually kind of lines up directly above our eastern seaboard region up into northern Canada. And so if the event is intense enough and the timing is right, the magnetic field lines stretch all the way down into the northeastern U.S. states, which means even as far south as Florida, even sometimes into the Caribbean uh, islands, they'll see just on their horizon uh, a faint glow of the northern lights. Henson says while the electromagnetic field can cause magnetic flaring events knocking out satellite power, it is more likely where storms are strongest in the northern region. It's more localized to those areas where the storms are strongest, and that's the more northern latitude. So okay. there's more concern uh, for power grid, say, in Canada and the northeastern U.S. Uh, there have been instances in the past where those power grids were disabled because of huge magnetic flaring events, particularly back in the 1960s was a major sets events that blacked out the entire Northeast for many, many hours. Uh, so we hopefully our, our grids are kind of protected now, but there's still a concern more now. The sun cycle is strong with the possibility of Northeast Tennessee to be glowing with northern lights more this winter. In Johnson City, Brooke Kendall, News Channel 11.